Hello, Year 3. Uh, welcome to our final English task this week. So, again, we're continuing with the Night Gardener for our last lesson. Um, so, today's task is completely over to you, quite simply. Um, so, uh, I'm hoping that you can have a good go at using all of the different skills which we've practiced over the last few weeks to continue the story of the Night Gardener. So, it's completely up to you what you want to happen in the story, um, but you need to think about what's happened. So, uh, we had a very dull, dreary town. The Night Gardener came, started creating these lovely trees. Um, and the people all started to change and it became a much nicer place to live. People started talking to one another. Children started playing out and things. Um, and we had William, who was quite a sad, lonely child who lived in the orphanage. Um, and then he helped the night gardener. And then at the end of the book, he was left a gift by the night gardener, who then he then decided to start practicing that same skill. Um, so remember what happened so far. So your idea now is that you're going to continue from then and um, what happens next. So um, I said about using some of the features that we have been practicing this year and particularly what we've been doing um, throughout online learning. So some of the features that we've mainly focused on are prepositional phrases, fronted adverbials, expanded noun phrases, subordinate and conjunctions to um, create a subordinate clause, similes and metaphors. So pause here, just refresh your memory, remind yourself, you might want to check back at your work that you've been doing recently and I've seen some lovely examples of some of these um, features. So just pause here and remind yourself of what these things are. Okay, so this is our last page. So as we can see, um, as we discussed already, um, we've got William who is using those shears to now practice uh, the skill that he learned from the night gardener. Um, so we can see he's doing quite a small tree here. He's done a pretty good job to make a lovely little um, fox, um, but he's only started on quite a small tree. So. Um, your task now is to think about what would happen next. Now, if you're a little bit stuck for ideas, don't panic. Um, if you do have your own ideas, wonderful. Um, go with it. Do whatever you want to write about for this story. But please do make sure that you are either writing about William or the Night Gardener or keeping all the same theme of the book. So if you are stuck for ideas, though, here are some to get you started. Now, as I said, these are just here to help you. If you have your own ideas, please do use them. Um, my ideas are just to get your um, brain going, just to give you a little bit of inspiration. You might take an idea and change it slightly or build on it up to you completely. So my four suggestions are that you could write about the night gardener going to a new place, so somewhere like Grimlock Lane, somewhere that's a bit miserable or whatever, um, and then describe what he does to make that place better. So how does he um, change it? So think about what he did before, Think about the new designs he could do and so on. So how is he going to make this place a better place to live? You could write about William practicing his skills and creating his own tree artwork on Grimlock Lane. So you could just write about William um, each night could go and he could start working on bigger trees, different designs. He could just keep practicing. You could talk about how what he, what he finds hard, the different things that he finds interesting, easy, um, how he figures out what he's going to do next. Lots of different things you could do about William practicing this skill. Your next one, um, you could do that William could make a friend. Now, he might, someone might see him um, creating these um, works of art and they might come and chat to him. He then might make a friend with that person and then he could teach them to do it and they could um, work together and become friends, creating these lovely um, topiary creations. My final idea, um, take some inspiration from... Um, the Firework Maker's Daughter that we read um, way back in autumn. So in that book, we had Lila and Lalchen who at the end um, were entered into a competition where they had to create the best firework. So they were competing against three other people. Each of the people showed their incredible fireworks, which had loads going on that were really fun and fantastic, really well described. And then at the end, we had Lila and Lalchen who went and performed their um, firework and it was fantastic and amazing and obviously they end up winning in the end um, so this is where I've got my inspiration for this idea so there could be a competition to find the most talented topiary artist now you could have that William enters the competition you could have that the night gardener enters the competition or you could have both of them so William might see that there is this competition and he might try and find the night gardener and ask him to help him in this competition. And then they would compete against the best people in the world. 
So you can imagine how fantastic some of these designs would be, how huge they would be. So that should really get your imagination running wild on the different uh, things that they can come up with. I think that'd be a really nice story to write. So you could pick and choose these. Um, you could choose to do one of them. Um, you could choose to merge a couple of them together. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to use my ideas. Again, if you have your own idea about the story about William or the Night Gardener, um, you can go ahead and do whatever you'd like. Uh, I don't really mind. Um, so I am actually really excited to see the stories that you come up with based on our book. So please, please do send your work to myself or Miss Lofthouse. Um, tag us in pictures on Twitter. Um, we do keep an eye on that as well so we can see your work. I really hope that you've enjoyed The Night Gardener um, and the work which we've done around it. I've really enjoyed this book. I think it's a lovely book and it will be in our classroom eventually um, for you to have a better look at some of the lovely, lovely pictures um, that it has. So next week, we'll be moving on to a different book, um, which is by an author which we've already looked at this year. So if you cast your mind back, um, you might be able to remember some of the different authors that we have looked at and have a guess at who we might be looking at next. Um, I hope you are all safe and well, and I will see you next week for another English lesson. Bye.